We're literally a week away from Chapter 5 Season 4 as Epic Games just announced that it's going to be starting slightly early. And with that said, despite Battle Pass skins getting revealed, what's up coming out of the 8 we see every single season? On top of some random surprises lately to do with their free skin that many players were able to obtain, it seems Peely Wolverine might be upcoming after all this time being teased right in front of our eyes. As there's not only a free reward surrounding this, but a huge reveal from Disney themselves about the next season of Fortnite, as it is completely Marvel themed as proven by the roadmap. Stop FM1 inside the shop or any creator code, but mine's only three digits long and takes two seconds to enter. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug now that we've got the brand new cutout so that means Bruh. another purchase had to be made. Last video I wanted to know the name of this so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this so let me know down below in the comments and if it gets hearted it could be showed on screen in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day with some proof for that recently on screen right now. Just before we dive into the Marvel Battle Pass skins that have already been revealed to be upcoming, as you know each Battle Pass in themselves contains eight outfits of which we're about to reveal some of those as previously mentioned but costs always 950 v bucks if you're not subscribed to the fortnite crew with that said recently players have started receiving a 1200 v buck refund which as previously mentioned is more than to cover buying the next battle pass if you have to go that route as the paradigm from chapter one season x being a limited time skin for only that duration it returned to the item shop by mistake for those that don't know and players who got it initially fortnite released a statement saying they'd remove it and obviously refund everyone but now they simply refund funding everybody and letting the players who actually managed to get it in that very allocated time slot to keep the skin in their Fortnite locker and will be issuing a selectable style for everybody who purchased it way back in Chapter 1 Season X. It seems Fortnite aren't stopping with the groundbreaking statements and getting all of our attention as they posted on August 7th incoming Battle Pass update. Items in future Fortnite Battle Passes may be offered for purchase in the shop after 18 or more months from a Battle Pass's expiration. And just to condense all the information contained in the article, basically it means any Battle Pass is going forward forward in 18 months time have the option to return however all battle passes that have released since Fortnite's start of introducing this up to chapter 5 season 3 don't have this possibility applied to them so sadly that means we won't be able to get the chapter 2 season 4 marvel skins returning to the shop but the chapter 5 season 4 ones as obviously this rule's just been introduced and we know based off the roadmap and the doctor doom 7th edition cover art of the fantastic four comic book that next season based off the in-game stark beacon teasers next season is going to be marvel themed entirely just like chapter 2 season 4 with the only mystery on the island now being the Wanderer as the live event did get revealed in terms of what's going to be happening, Pandora's box being located and the aftermath of it occurring on August 10th if you didn't know. It seems the identity, intention and overall involvement of this character is finally making sense, being confirmed Doctor Doom thanks to the Marvel character introduced this season as the secret skin Magneto in his new dialogue. I can't verify this Wanderer is who I think he is but if it's him, if he's the one seizing the box's power, this place may be Doom. The box he's referring to is no other than Pandora's that we saw sink into River Sticks after the live event last season involving the orb hopping out creating the sandstorm which has now been found in the 30.40 update going live in the files that it's located underneath red line rig hence why megalodon built this rig here and is trying to extract all of the nitro as this is a main source of it coming out of pandora's box with data miners finding proof of this footage and image wise in the files of course the live event that's happening directly involves this red line rig and brutal beachhead to the leviathan ship connection and literally any moment now or may have already gone live the next stage is the nitro flowing through until the time ticks to zero and once this happens it's going to all go boom and go completely wrong as you've seen from the leaked aftermath on screen right now with many craters and the rig completely decimated. It's clear in the loading screen that was also found in 30.40 that Megalodon is unhappy with this and it seems the Wanderer has gone rogue as it was revealed in some upcoming voice lines from Megalodon apparently to not bother the Wanderer but only a foreign right now and got translated. The Wanderer all along didn't really want to go with Leviathan's plan as he mentioned in his voice lines previously of splitting the island in half with the leviathan's teeth once it's fully powered up full of nitro he simply went along with it for intentions that are currently sadly unknown what we do know however is it seems to be all down to hope in actually making sure the wanderer doesn't possess the power of pandora's box in stopping all of this catastrophe from unfolding if that is to happen based off the following dialogue between her and jones working together and also the oracle now involved in the storyline again going forward so confession time i've been talking to magneto oh Great, because he seems trustworthy. Why are you talking to Magneto? Well, he came to talk to me. Things are about to get weird, aren't they? Well, I summoned a magic water ghost, so... Ghost? <laughs> I am a seer, a soothsayer, a very powerful lady. Don't get it twisted, Miss Underground. Do you want to talk or not? Yeah, fine. Okay. Walk with me. This box should destroy you. 
but instead, it talks to you. What does it show you? Hmm? What does it say? When I connect to the box, it promises me everything I've ever wanted. Peace. Harmony. Hope. I know that it's just showing me what I want to see. That if I give in, it'll destroy me. Hey, I know you. You're not gonna let that happen. It's not that easy, Captain Tough Guy. Hope and this box, they're linked by fate. By the cycles of time and destiny eternal. But the Wanderer, his interference has warped this fate. His presence has rewritten the stars themselves. And now it is not enough to simply close the box. You must fight. And you must win. Do you see it now? You were meant to be the hope at the bottom of Pandora's box. I get it. It's literal. It's literally your name. Take it up with the fates, okay? This wanderer has taken the box's power for himself, and he has sealed your fate along with his. There is no turning back for you now. You must fight this wanderer. But I just hope. I don't know if I am who you think I am. If you take a stand, others will follow. You need not stand alone. But hope. You already have everything you need. Prepare for a war, my child. The outcome of this war will be determined or even shown the developments toward it in the Chapter 5 Season 4 trailer now with all the Stark tech on the island. Us knowing that Doctor Doom or Stark Doom that obviously has been revealed also in the MCU to be happening. As Tony Stark did become Doctor Doom instead of Iron Man in the original comic books just in case you didn't know that fact. Inevitably this is all gearing up for something huge to happen, a time travel like scale event to go back to OG Chapter 2 is also shown on the roadmap at the end of this year before Chapter 6, a completely different island. Megalodon I will say is one of my favourite villains so far in Fortnite, just overall anyways, the aura that surrounds him and the villain like creepy breaths he takes, either way why I wanted to mention that is because if he got his way in the storyline somebody made a concept map of how that would look, directly driving the leviathan's teeth through the entire island almost splitting it in half. We still don't know if this is going to happen but we do know the failure of powering the leviathan immediately thanks to Redline Rig exploding is inevitable. Something you also need to know about next season is it's not starting technically August 16th anymore, it's a day earlier as FN Assist and Many Data Miners posted Chapter 5 Season 3 now ends 3 hours earlier, August 16th 2am ET, switched to August 15th 11pm ET. The downtime for the season will begin shortly after for Season 4. This doesn't change the day of the live event however happening August 10th and speaking of that date something huge is going down to get a Marvel themed Peely free reward. Fortnite posted an exclusive Disney D23 live stream in Fortnite, sign us up, catch never before seen Fortnite Disney content on August 10th at 11.30 ET and get a Peelverine plush Batbling for attending which looks incredibly cool. Again Peelverine or Peely Wolverine crossover has been teased in or since Chapter 2 Season 4 in this trailer that we never got. And as we have the Nana Buddy crew Batbling now which could technically return to the Fortnite crew someday we have a direct Marvel reference one which looks so cute. You can actually watch this in Fortnite and here is the island code that you'll need to attend for 10 minutes to get the free Batbling and also some XP. As for the next battle pass with 8 outfits expected, completely Marvel ones just like Chapter 2 Season 4 though. With the Wanderer being teased to be Doctor Doom, it looks like this skin, overall the final version with the face and everything involved, is going to be in the Chapter 5 Season 4 battle pass as Data Miners previously found as early as July 21st from Hypex, there's an upcoming POI codenamed Angle Patch and a battle pass skin with a green cape and the same codename potentially a Doctor Doom skin and boss like we have seen in the leaked roadmap. I don't see any possibility of them not doing this now with everything we know in 30.40, but with that said the comic book art used for the placeholder of Chapter 5 Season 4 on the roadmap is from the 7th edition of the Fantastic Four comic books and the Fantastic Four could also be included in the next battle pass as they're all Marvel characters and of course this makes our total up to 5 skins then once we include Mr. Fantastic, the Invisible Woman, Human Torch and my favourite out of them all that would look really cool considering we already have the Hulk is the Thing. With new Marvel characters comes new mythics despite us already knowing previous ones are going to return such as Wolverine's claws that have already been worked on in the files previously this season. Honestly at this point as well it wouldn't surprise me if we get 
Peel Vereen like we see as the plushy bat bling, but as an actual skin considering Fortnite, love variant of Peely. He's a beloved character throughout all of Fortnite. Another Marvel skin nobody seems to be talking about that got leaked in 30.30, .30. even the Lego mesh for it is Gwenpool around the time of Deadpool and Wolverine, releasing in the new forms in the item shop, the pen and ink forms. As you can see from the comparison, this head mesh looks identical almost to what we see as the character Gwenpool from the Marvel Universe. So either way, whether we get this character next season in the Battle Pass, it's at least coming to the game in the item shop if not. After all, it all lines up, Marvel themed season, Marvel character we haven't seen yet, it sounds good to me. Referring back to what Magneto said about the island being doomed, however, Jones also used the word doomed in his dialogue describing pretty much the same thing to do with the Wanderer and his true identity. Mark Rain, for those that don't know, is the co-founder of Epic Games and gives us one word to describe each upcoming Fortnite season every season that rolls around and tweeted, literally in the last 24 hours, almost time for that word again for the upcoming Fortnite season, has anyone compiled a complete list of every season's word, love to see that list if you have. In response to that, Echo got all of them, Chapter 1 Season 8 Bananas, Chapter 2 Season 4 Superb, Chapter 2 Season 5 Chaotic, Chapter 2 Season 6 Wild, Chapter 2 Season 7 Alien Emoji, Purple for Chapter 2 Season 8, Chapter 3 Season 1 Sliding, Chapter 3 Season 2 didn't give one I'm guessing, or it was literally just this line. Then we have Chill, Shiny, Cycle, Neon, Jungle, Heist, Rewind, Save, Peely, Image Teaser, Wings, Nitro, which gets us up to Chapter 5 Season 3, the current season we're in. Some other items we know are upcoming next season, thanks to Hypex leaked previously despite Wolverine's claws are the following, a dual SMG, Anvil Launcher V2, Super Launch Pad, Wolverine's claws already mentioned, and Striker Burst Rifle V2. The Striker Burst Rifle V2 is the most interesting in my opinion, as it was a mythic held by Dr. Sloan in Chapter 3 Season 2. Is it a coincidence in this Marvel themed Magneto Weapon X bunker where we have the Peely tease that's now coming to a forefront with the Peel Vereen, that Peely, Jones and Sloan are being studied on these screens? Jones makes sense after all, working alongside Hope, which of course this season is annoying Megalodon or opposing him as the underground faction as he is the leader of the Wastelanders. There's definitely going to be a clash between these either way in the Season 4 trailer as the underground Hope and Jones have Megalodon's precious Pandora gems, which obviously have constellations inside, pointing toward different things such as Hope herself, the Ghost logo, a sword meaning the sword government faction from the Marvel Universe, and then Doom at the very top. Which makes it safe to say the chaos is approaching and honestly I'm all for it. Drop a like if you like the sound of that though, subscribe with all notices on so you don't miss any future uploads. And don't forget to enter code FM1 now inside the shop. Who else is doing it like me and Charlie the Charcoal Pug getting a giant cutout to simply show our love and support to the community, rocking the code. YouTube knows where you want to go to now though, so click either of these two videos. It's recommended you whilst you wait for the very next upload I publish here on the channel.